many of you guys have ever been incarcerated? <laughs> Man, we got at least one. Hey, wait a minute. No need to be so nice. So, um, well, I know you guys haven't all been in prison, and it's my sincerest wish that I hope you all get to experience that someday. Um, no, seriously. I hope you all go to prison. So, um, I got this uh, jewelry from my co officer, and, uh, and, you know, I wish he could be here tonight, but he doesn't know where it is. And so, last time I was at the parole board, and he, like, made sure I didn't get parole, I got, I went home and I wrote this little slam poem. It's, uh, it's called A Letter to the Parole Board. I'm gonna just drop this acapella, or whatever you call it. Most of it I write all slam poems anyways, and I just try to fit it these. Out. It goes like this. Dear Parole Board, I should have been a terrorist. I could have held a gun at Point Bank, an intruder with a license to drive economic tanks. Foreign banks get crushed under the tread while fat mouths for murder's sake could have easily been fed. I could have worn camouflage instead of greens, dog tags instead of barcodes. I could have been on the outside looking in every time that the bars closed. I could have been a soldier. I could have planted bombs inside of buildings, housing innocent civilians. I could have walked off into the future, back turned as my own innocent people's backs burned. Then I could have turned a full 360 and kept going as an innocence burned a hole through an essence in me that quit loving when I was erased and reprogrammed by a machine that kept hugging me. Clinging to a nourishing poison, perpetuating a flourishing greed. I could have been a journalist, friend of the terrorist soldiers indeed. I could have been the one that brought you the dirt and the blood, the cloud of agony and pain from a vein that erupted. I could have pushed an agenda, I could have done it indoctrinated, I could have tricked myself, brought it to you under a guise and an uneducated you. I could have been a cop. I could have been grown like a clone in a dying farm town importing sweatshops. But I might not have cut it. I might not have had what it takes to imagine a case, to escort that case from a cloud of mace as it fades and leaves only the face of minority hide as it fades. I might not have cut it. Could have gone the way of the others that lacked justice's naked vision, stripped the final layers off of a human and got a job at the prison. Or better yet, I could have been a politician. I could have been a part of something so great that by my very participation in my sense of what's right would have been raped. I could have made sentences like for my brethren on the take. My pockets could have been heavy. My conscience could have been heavier. But apparently you can just disconnect your conscience by simply believing your enemies to be deadlier. I could have worn the title, a protector of freedom, or like cataracts preventing liberty from shining through every time that I see it. I should have been free. Actually, I could have been free, but I couldn't have been any of those other things. Those were all lies to me. Instead, I chose to fight them, bring you the ability to see instead the right to sight on amended. I fight their influence. I chose to bend it. I said, fuck their influence, knowing the whole time that its cost would turn me into an economic unit. But I'm not a martyr. Fuck a martyr. My conviction is harder than any stand taken. Unit or not, I'm not breaking. Prisoner or not, a profit off of my unit, they're not making. With each step that I take, with each breath that I breathe, I lift the wool from a sheep's eyes and I allow them to see the economic solid signs they stand on are tainted as the air they release from each breath as they continue on raping. 